Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, the Welsh runner, and tomorrow I am racing the Swansea Half Marathon in Swansea, obviously, which is my hometown, where I'm from, and I can't wait. Since the last vlog, uh, the last vlog you will have seen was the London Marathon. Obviously, I had a bit of a stinker. Uh, I enjoyed it. I loved, I loved racing London Marathon, but I didn't have the performance I wanted. Since then, I had some downtime, recovered, and I've done a few races. And <sighs> I don't really care about the times. The times are rubbish um, for what I expect of myself. But what I do care about is the way I just rolled over. I let people beat me that they deserve to beat me, but I let them beat me in a way that was pretty pathetic, to be honest. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like some of that competitive edge, some of that fighting spirit, some of that animalistic, you know, want to all in. Uh, aspect to my racing has gone amiss in the last few races. The night of the 10k PBs was an incredible event. I loved it. But I let people lap me and I just sort of like, I didn't put up a fight. I, not only did I not put up a fight, I sort of went like, yeah, come on, lap me. And let them through and I don't know. It's just, it's not the runner I want to be. I want to have that, if you're going to beat me, then you're going to have to really, really beat me. Uh, sort of racing attitude. So yeah, I've got Swansea half tomorrow. I've just had my dinner. Uh, it's been lovely weather. It's gonna be warm, it's gonna be hot and humid tomorrow. So it's not gonna be one for fast times, which suits me perfectly. I'm not gonna care about my watch. I'm just gonna race, race hard. And if you're gonna beat me, you're gonna have to work for it. There's some runners that I won't be able to go with. There's Omar Ahmed there tomorrow, who's run 64 minutes there at Swansea last year. I can't compete with that. But the people around me, the people of my standard, I'm not gonna hand it to them the way I have been lately. So yeah, let's race, let's fight, and let's go all in. Oh, Bye, Harry. No. <laughs> so it's race morning, we've arrived in Swansea. Uh, nerves are building. I don't really know why, because I haven't really put any pressure on this race. Um, but like I said yesterday, the aim today is really just to not lie down, not roll over, to actually want it a bit more. Times aren't that important. I would like to run quick, but we'll see. But I just want to not, not hand it to the runners around me, not let people pass me and not fight back, and not let groups that I should be able to stay with go and then never, never catch them up. Like, I don't mind if I blow up late in the race, at least if I've given it a good shot. What I don't want is to finish the race and feel like, I don't know, like it was a limp performance. So Kelly will be supporting and she's got the bike, so she's gonna try and get to different spots on the get course. some mean footage. Mean footage. You know, all about that content. Sometimes it's a bit conflicting. Like what do you want, support or footage? A bit of, a bit of both. both. A bit of both. A bit of both. Um, Number. Just hope yourself don't have a little number, is it? <laughs> no one's here, so I guess so. Oh, lucky number 13. Yeah. I got the big Go, go, go. Yeah, really good. Thank you very much, mate. It's a cute little uh, pot of pins. You can't put that on the vlog. <laughs> I stole that from Elliot. Medical education. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's a good pot. I love that. I haven't got anything in my hair. It's my clay, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> On point. Find the four bits. Race nerves kicking in. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous. But excited as well. Like, I don't race many halves, and yet I really love the distance. And running Swansea Half is always one of the best races of the year. I, it's a bit cursed for me. I've, I've been ill a few times. Like, I've had bad races here. I've DNF'd once. So yeah, a bit cursed, but hopefully today I'll put that right. I'm literally dripping with sweat and I was just jogging that warm up. It's so humid. Um, doesn't matter, like I said, just race it hard, but uh, yeah, I hate humidity. Humid? Can you take the record the Welsh way? What? No. See it? Humid. 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 Humid
humid. Is that right? Humid. Right, I'll leave you uh, get out on the course now, I guess. And uh, if I'm running sh then let me know and say, put your socks up or something. You're not going to be winning today. Yeah, not a week. Not a week. <laughs> I haven't been called that since school! No, you're just gonna go and race. Go and have a proper hard run. No, I, I wanna just like test myself a bit today, take some risks, gamble, and hurt myself. Don't like give up before it, before it even gets hard. So yeah, I'm gonna find out. That's the thing. Today's all about finding out. As expected, Omar shot out of the blocks. I went with the next group of runners who were all faster than me, but I had told myself I wanted a gutsy performance, find out, so I took a risk. Well done, Matt, keep going. Did you give Dada a big cheer? <laughs> Did you cheer Dada? So the race hasn't long started, but I can tell you it is so warm. Yeah. I I've got sand in, you got sand on your feet. Um, yeah, it's it's warm, it's hot, it's humid. Um, it is not great racing conditions, but it's a beautiful day. Um, so there is that, but we shall see. I think this is gonna be a very hot day for all of the runners today. As it was a hot day, I was hoping the pack I was with would go out cautiously. I was wrong. We covered the first two miles at 5.10 per mile, which equates to a 67.5, faster than my PB. Jake, a runner who beat me by over a minute in the recent Kefili 10K, came past me. I tried to sit on him and relax, but I'd already dug myself into a bit of a hole by going out quick. Well done! Great running! Thank you! Uh, finish it. Look, there's no one else behind him. Go on, baby, you can smash it. Very lonely race for Matt. Um, they're all so spread out at the front. Omar's got like, I think five minutes on the next. But yeah, it's gonna be tough for Matt, but he's a tough cookie. So I've just left him briefly whilst I have a look at the tracking. Okay, so he went through five mile, that's a weird split, uh, in 26.38, 5.20 pace. That's good. The turn point is at Mumbles and I think there's more time in there. So I'm gonna get on down to the Mumbles. Smashing it, well done. The race was really strung out and I was struggling in the heat. A guy in pink came past me. I tried to go with him and latch on, but I couldn't quite make it stick. That's it, great running, well done. You just need a better life to live. Gonna get me in it. Come on, no you go, go. Well done. Come on, Matt. I could see one of the runners that had been in the pack early had dropped off and I was trying to reel him in. Just past the 10 mile marker. Looking good. You're gaining, babe. I 
I was catching the runner ahead and it was a motivation to keep digging. What I didn't realise is another Swansea Harrier was sneaking up behind me. There's a tiny little hill on the course and this is where Blair saw his family and the opportunity to surge past me. I promised myself before the race I wouldn't roll over. I gritted my teeth and tried to hang with him. I passed David from earlier in the race and moved into seven, but I couldn't quite close that gap to Blair, who was running really strongly. Well done. He's finished. I think that was ninth place, um, and I think it was 72 minutes. Um, God, that was hot out there. It was hot just cycling. Um, really humid, but that was because the course was quite open, and I could cycle alongside Matt for a, quite a big chunk of it. It was just really incredible. Um, I loved it, really loved it. Like it was something so special about watching him working hard. I think he can safely say he worked hard today. Um, he didn't quit. Yeah, it was just incredible to watch. <laughs> we have a medal. That was savage. <laughs> You know, you shouted it out to me, uh, stick in the pain, so that my motto would have like, no, I'm not even going to stick into it, I'm just going to lean into the pain. But it was just so painful. Yeah, it looks it. It did look it. It's just, I'm just so bad at the and I just I can't do it. It's not really an excuse, it's just the truth. You should have heard, obviously, because I was cycling by you, like how many people were like, oh, he's soaking wet. Look how wet he is. <laughs> the wet's the, the water. Well, and the sweat, Humidity, yeah. 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 Uh, well done, what was that, ninth? ninth? Uh, 72. Know. 72. Something. That's good on a day like today. No, it's not. I went, you, you, I don't think you saw me earlier on. I went with the, with the group. Yeah. Obviously not Omar, but with a group behind. And it was too quick, but I thought it was the only group. And you know, I said before, I wasn't just gonna lie down but it was just too quick. After two miles, I'm like, I'm staying here. Um, so then it was just massive grind, getting everyone taken, trying to reel people in. Really struggled, but I kept on telling myself, like, Blair can pass me, and I was like, no, just let him go past, try and chase him down. So I tried to make those decisions to not win out of the battles. Even though I lost most of the battles, I still gave it a shot. I'm proud of you. Uh, but I don't know if we can hear you again. <laughs> you <hear that? laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
today? Got a medal and ice cream? Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that face! <laughs> yeah. 